time now to take a closer look at your career. Joining me now is Andy Challenger of Challenger Gray and Christmas. Always good to have you on the show, Andy. Me. He's here to talk about the dreaded review. It happens to all of us once a year. Yep. And I really want to focus on yeah. the self reviews because I don't know anybody who appreciates being able <laughs> to review themselves. Yeah. There's a lot of complication involved. So are self reviews a good plan for a company? Yeah, they really aren't. Harvard Business Review wrote a, you know, a long study on this saying, you know, just study after study shows people are very bad at uh, self-judging themselves. They don't have a good idea of where, how good uh, quality work there is. And oftentimes people speak so highly about themselves and, and others really take a negative approach even though they're doing a good job. And that is a problem. Let's talk mm -hmm. about somebody who might give themselves a top rating. I know instances where people are told, you rated yourself too high. You have to give yourself a lower grade. Even though you're a great worker, you still, just to get through HR, we need you to, to lower that. So there's this authentic thing that happens inside where you're like, I'm not being true to myself. Yeah. The company's making me lower my rating grade. Yeah, certainly. And, and you know, it's not a, it's not a positive uh, experience for people that have a good uh, self-image to have to have them, you know, have to have their managers come in and knock them down. So it's really not a great process, but it still happens. It's a majority of companies self-reviews are still part of the, the, the workplace. So, so there's ways to manage it. Um, and, and usually that's taking a pretty positive view on your work, really talking about specific accomplishments uh, that you've, you, you've achieved throughout uh, the period of your, your last review. Especially for somebody who's underrating themselves. I saw people do this. They would give themselves terrible marks and they were terrific employees and they just didn't feel good enough to give themselves a great grade. So should you, what do you do? I, you know, I know you're saying just give yourself positive comments, but sometimes it's not that easy out there. Yeah, you know, you don't want to be too modest, but you also definitely want to head on a address any concerns you think are going to come up in your review. So if there was a negative point, talk about it, talk about what you learned, what your plan is going forward, and, and you know, show that you're really thinking about how to improve yourself as an employee. Now you also said there's a generational issue going on with reviews and what is that millennials want to be reviewed more? Yeah, so we're seeing this uh, from companies that are trying to attract uh, millennials. Uh, millennials want a lot of feedback. They often get into jobs and don't get feedback for the first six months and feel like they've been abandoned in, in their workplace. And they just grew up in a, in, a, in a different culture where they got more instantaneous feedback and, and they need that to, to feel comfortable in their jobs and, and self-correct. Why is that? Why are they getting so much feedback? Um, you know, it, it, certainly a theory is that, you know, because of social media, when they put an idea out there, uh, they instantly know whether that idea sinks or swims. They get all constant feedback from all of their peers and, and people that, that uh, you know, watch their social media. And so they need that kind of feedback uh, in the workplace as well. I like that, though, because you can self-correct when you know that you're doing something incorrectly. You, you do sometimes need constructive criticism, a good thing. It can be valuable. It, over over reviewing is certainly a problem. It can bog people down, and some people just don't need it or want it. Um, but but you know, some some healthy medium of uh, of reviewing and self-reviewing is, is valuable for a workplace. What can HR do or bosses who maybe don't like the whole review process? What advice would you give to those folks? Uh, you know, you can you can always cut back on the number of reviews. You have to do them semi frequently. Um, but you know, the self review process doesn't seem to be that valuable. People just have been proven to not be good. Uh, you know, self uh, self uh, judgment you know, can't can't measure their own productivity very well. So so just have managers do the reviews themselves. It's a hot topic. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me.